Okay, guys, it's your dude Darby and today I am going to play the Nemesis SMP again, yesterday didn't go as I expected it was pretty boring, all I did was just run around. I hope today will be a better day. So guys the land where I am standing I just arrived here and smelted the iron and made the iron armor and all, I hit another village and got some nice amount of bread from there. So I am pretty good at food and armor and tools. So, this is our land Rustburg. Funny thing I didn't want to play yesterday but I couldn't resist the temptation and I came online and walked around a bit cause the place I saw in Agnick's picture was very familiar and fortunately it is not on my island, but. Unfortunately, I found it, it is on the mainland just beside me. It is a good thing as they didn't take my island and as an added advantage they are my neighbors. I was invited to join the P.O. Gers, but I refused and Krish on the other hand agreed. We are planning on keeping our locations hidden until we have some decent settlement. For now, I have planned some things. I want to cut off all the trees on the island and flatten the island to Y level 64, that way it will be a flat land and building will be easier. My island is separated from the mainland by a small river and on the other three sides of its ocean. What I have in mind is that first, we flatten the island we make it like a rectangle as it has ocean on three sides we can expand as much as we want. And after that, we plant two to three ladders of trees on the borders that way we have trees as I feel really bad cutting down all these trees. Krish and Agnikar online it feels today is not going to be as boring as yesterday after all. Apparently, later I will also show them Rustburg cause I found their beds but they didn't know where I was. For now, I will start chopping down the trees. An added benefit to us flattening the land will be that we will have loads of resources and that way I can make a nice house. I have some plans in my mind but those are for later I guess clearing the whole island will take at least 1 to 2 days and flattening the island might tell more. You guys might be wondering even though I have iron tools why I am using stone tools basically I have a lot of stone, but not a lot of iron so I rather conserve it. There are some new features in the SMP about which I will talk later in the video for now let me cut as many trees as I can.
I have told Agnik my coordinates he can be here any moment now. <laughs> OMG he is here guys this weird looking dude is Agnik, everyone says hello, off he jumps scared me, let's ignore him for some time and continue chopping down trees, I feel so bad for performing deforestation but this is what has to be done. Now let's not keep him waiting anymore and show him around or he might start baby raging lol. A few moments later More moments later. Yeah, I finally have some friends with me. Okay, guys now I don't feel all alone I guess I have chopped down most of the trees on this side I want to take a break and maybe start breaking this plateau here in front of me. Let's talk about the changes in our SMP, basically, our SMP has less than 2 gigs of RAM so often ground items cause a lot of lag, 
So I have set up a ground items despawner to handle that problem if you guys want to check the plugin out the link to the plugins I mention will be in the description. But this lead to another problem, if players die their stuff becomes ground items and they will get removed in the cycles, if we increase the time difference between cycles it was lagging the server so we came us with another modification if a player dies all his ground items are stored in a dead chest which only the player can access. The chest remains for 5 minutes and it disappears leaving the sites on the ground until that despawn by the despawner cycle. This what if someone dies he can easily get back his items, and if someone loses a fight or someone else kills for stuff that can take it after the 5 minutes mark as well. Hey guys say hello to Krish, let's take a selfie with him lol. Eventually... Anyways a Vilash finally showed up after a quadrillion years, and he told him he would help me break the mountain. And that what we did all day. Later I invited him to join Rustburg, he agreed as Agnik was on the verge of war with Lucifer for god know what reason. With Aviosh being gone Agnik maybe felt vulnerable and thus didn't raise a war. That's all for today, I have literally played like 6 hours. I will see you tomorrow. Till then. RBOUT.